There are signs that America is going to get more spring football, and it will be in the form of two additional leagues. The Spring League is an active group that plays a couple games a year. The Alliance of American Football is scheduled to begin play in 2019, and Vince McMahon's XFL reboot will start in 2020. The Spring League had just four matches on the 2018 schedule, and all of the games were in Austin, Texas. That Spring League is a showcase for former NFL players looking for a second or third or fourth chance at making a squad. Players are not paid. They do get room and board for a few weeks and, in fact, have to pay the league to get a roster spot. There is also the National Arena League, which is a minor indoor circuit. The question of why so many people are getting involved in football when football is allegedly on a downward spiral has not been answered. McMahon is a big-time operator and has hired Oliver Luck to run his operations. The AAF has teams in Atlanta, Birmingham, Memphis, Oakland, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, and San Diego, with one more to be announced. But spring leagues have come and gone, with the most successful being the United States Football League, which lasted three years, between 1983 and 1985. USFL owners had a lot of things going for them. A TV deal, the use of NFL stadiums, and fan interest. Ultimately, league owners could not manage budgets and lost millions upon millions of dollars. And while the league did win an antitrust lawsuit against the National Football League in 1986, a jury awarded United States Football League owners a buck, and that was tripled, and the USFL owners threw in the towel. Springtime football is a costly endeavor, which is why it has not been a success. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.